Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, family. Listen, I want to just get on here uh, on the first day of our 21 days of fasting. Our, I guess you could say the conclusion of our first day going into our second day. We started yesterday, but I want to kick the week off with a prayer. Um, not just for today, not even just for the 21 days, for, but for the entire 2023. And yes, it's for my people who are praying and fasting. But if it blesses anybody that you know, share it with everybody. Because it is what I believe to be something God placed in my, fear, in my spirit for this year. And I really want to be a blessing to everybody as much as we can. So with that being said, family, I'm just asking simply that you just uh, get into a posture if you can somewhere, wherever you are. No distractions, um, no interruptions, just really you and God. And if you could just receive this, if this blesses you, I pray it does. I pray you just remember it and you, you, you recite some of it as you pray throughout the next 21 days and throughout the next 360 odd days that we have for this year. Um, and I thank God that you are here with me this morning. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we first of all, we say thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. We cannot come into your throne of grace without saying thank you. For you told us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and to your courts with praise, God. So we do just that, God. We're praising you, Father God, for all the things you've done, all the things you're doing, and the things you've yet to do. We praise you because of your character. We praise you because of your faithfulness. We praise you, God, because you allowed us to see another year. We're praising you, God, before because you just give us moments, Father God, to enjoy and love one another. We thank you, Father, for the things that you've continually done for us, in us, and through us, God. We thank you, Father God, for blessing us and keeping us. We thank you, Father God, for the spirit, Father God, of heaviness that's turned into joy. We thank you, Father God, for turning our morning into, into dancing, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for always doing the work in us, for never stopping working in us until the day of Christ Jesus. We know we've not always hit the mark. We know we're not perfect. We know we make mistakes, but your grace and your mercy, it, shed, it sheds its light and its, uh, its love upon us, Father God. Your grace and your mercy, that's the thing that follows us, and that's what we need at our coattail today. We thank you for grace. We thank you for mercy. We thank you for forgiveness, Father God, not just for the actions, Father God, but for the thinking. We thank you for forgiving our thoughts, Father God, for forgiving the things that we thought about that was not conducive into your kingdom, that did not uplift you, that, that, that did not glorify you. We thank you right now on a Monday morning, Father God, on this Monday morning, that you are still faithful, Father God. You're faithful in blessing us. You're faithful in keeping us. You're faithful in protecting us. You're faithful in healing us. You're faithful in, in shielding us. You're faithful in recreating us. You're faithful in transforming us. You're faithful in covering us. You're faithful in not just for us. You're faithful in our families. You're faithful in covering our children. You're faithful in covering our grandchildren. You're faithful in covering uncles and aunties. You're faithful in the hospice bed. You're faithful in, in, in the elderly shelter. You're faithful, Father God, in women's shelter. You're, you're faithful in battered homes, Father. You're just faithful. You're faithful, Father God. When, when people are on the street, you're faithful to the homeless. You're faithful. You're faithful, Father God, to the kind and to the unkind. You reign on the just and the unjust. Your love is just so un wavering God and we thank you Father, Father right now for a love that never fails Father God for a love that never loses sight of the bigger picture for a love that sees our end from the beginning for a love that knows us beyond our, our, our mistakes and our faults for a love that meets us at the very point of our need for the love that intersects Father God us going the wrong way and tells us to repent for the love that sends us conviction and not just comfort for the love that sends us correction and not just encouragement for the love that sends us confidence and not just Father God uh, the things that we are desiring for the love that delights itself in us just as much as we delight itself in you we thank you right now God that you are a lover of our souls that you love us beyond the flesh that you love us beyond what we can see with our own sight Father God we know that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world because you are the greatness Father God of, his, of us all you are the very essence of purity you are the holiness Father God you are set apart and set aside and we thank you Father God for not being a God who's fitting to man's ways for not being the God who, uh, who, who has to be put on our shoulders and we have to carry you around whether it's around our neck or whether it's on the altar father god but we don't carry you we thank you for carrying us you're carrying us through the work week we're carrying us through turmoil you're carrying us through sickness you're carrying us through heartaches and heart pains you're carrying us when we're crying you're carrying us when we're down you're carrying us when we're low you're carrying us when nobody else is around you're supporting us when nobody else is lifting us up you're right there father god holding us up father god keeping us together when we want to fall apart when our brains and our minds are, are out of control 
out of control, when we can't think about the things that we should be thinking about, when we are not keeping our eyes on the heels from which coming our help, when our focus is distracted, when we are interrupted, when we are looking astray, when we are not waiting for the things of you, when we are making bad decisions, you're still right there carrying us, oh God. And we thank you for the carry, God. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the support. We thank you for the patience that surpasses, Father God. We thank you for the patience that surpasses our own, Father God, patience. We thank you for making a perfect work in us that's working something good in us, Father God, because we waiting on you, Father God, and we shall continue to wait, God. We shall continue to wait because you are a faithful God. You are a consistent God. You are a God who never fails, Father God. As my grandmother would say, you may not always come when we are wanting you to come, but my God, you've never been late. You've always been on time. You've always punched in at the right moment, and we thank you right now, God, for looking high, for, for sitting high and looking low, but we thank you right now, Father God, for being attentive to our very uh, future, Father God. We thank you for being attentive up to our very present. You know where we are and where we're going and we thank you for that. We pray right now, Father God, for those who may be feeling sick in their bodies, for those who may be feeling sick in their minds, for those who may be feeling sick in their hearts. We pray right now that you will be a comforting help, Father God, to the bereaved, a comforting help to those who have lost a loved one, a comforting help, Father God, to those who don't even know if, if the next day they will see their loved one because they're in a hospital bed or because they're going through different various dangers, Father God, both seen and unseen. But we thank you, God, that you're still a healer. We thank you, God, that you're still a way maker. We thank you, God, that you've never lost any of your names. Your character is still good. When they call you El Elo Olam because you're everlasting, God, you've never stopped being everlasting. When they call you El Shaddai, Father God, you've never stopped being there. When they call you Jehovah Jireh, you've never stopped being a provider, Father God. When they call you the Lord of hosts, you've always sent your army to protect us. When they call you Jehovah uh, Rapha, Father God, you've always healed us, Father God. When, when they called you, Father God, Jehovah sick new Father God, because you are just that, Father God. You don't lose sight of who you are, despite of what we're going through. And we thank you, Father God, that you trust us with your spirit, that you trust us with your assignments, that you trust us with your mantle. I pray for the people who have a ministry on their on their life that's carrying the weight of the kingdom, that's steady trying to make disciples of all nations. I pray right now, Father God, that you will give them the strength and the fervor to fight for those, Father God, who who understand their calling but are finding it hard to step into it. I pray you will give them courage and confidence, Father God, to do what you've called them to do. I pray right now for those who are trying to be faithful and consistent, but from time to time they may fall off. Give them a sense of consistency inside of their courage and, co and confidence of your will. Let them walk with an upright spirit, even if they fall. You said a just man falls seven times, but keep getting back on up. I pray that they got a get up spirit this morning. I pray we got a rise and shine spirit this morning. I pray we got an awakening this morning. I pray that we, Father God, walk with fervor and fight and, and, and and just focus, Father God, on the things you called us to do. I pray right now for your people who are carrying the gospel forward. I pray for your people who are receiving the gospel. I pray for your people who want to hear the gospel. I pray for your people who don't even know they need the gospel. I pray right now that you just would let your gospel go forth into all parts of the world, into the highways and the byways, into the uttermost parts of the earth that your men may be saved, not that they may be judged, not that, may, that they may be condemned, not that the church may, be, may, may look at and poke at what's wrong, but that we may be a loving a hand, that we may be a loving arm, that we may be, Father God, the replication of you, which is love, Father God, and love never fails. I pray right now, Father God, that you will give us a spirit of, 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 of fervency in your kingdom, a spirit of fight, Father God, for today, a spirit of, of endurance to be able to persevere through some heart, uh, heartaches and heart, heart pains, Father God. You said you know trouble may come, but be not discouraged, for you've already overcome the trouble that's coming to us. You are, you're more than a conquering kind of God and we are more than the conquering kind of people because you are our God we reflect you not just today not just this week but this entire year will be a reflection of who you are who are you Father God you said I am the bread of life Father God so we'll be a reflection of health and nourishment you said I am the living water so we'll be a reflection of not being thirsty you said I am the way maker so we'll be a reflection of making ways out of no ways you said I am the bridge over to every world so we will be a reflection of helping those who need to get to their destiny Father God you said that you are the light of the world. So we'll be a reflection, Father God, of what glory looks like. In the name of Jesus, we will be your mirror this, this, this year. And when people look at us, they will see you. And we thank you, God. We thank you that you're giving us something this year that we didn't have last year. You're giving us revelation we didn't have. You're giving us joy we didn't have. You're giving us peace we didn't have. You're giving us calmness we didn't have. 
You're giving us courage we didn't have. You're giving us authority we didn't know how to tap into. You're, you're giving us access to things this year that we could not unlock last year. And it's not because of how good we are. It's because of how great you are. So we thank you and we invite you, not just today, not just this week. We invite you into this year to do exactly what you've already assigned yourself to do. We just want to catch your rhythm. We want to catch your pace. Oh God, we want to walk in alignment with you. We don't want to be out of step. We don't want to be out of tune. We don't want to be trying to do our own thing while you're doing something, Father God. Even if we think you're doing nothing, we know you're a God who's still doing something. Just because we can't see it don't mean you ain't working. And we trust you this year like never before. We trust you this year like Job trusted you. That although we may feel slayed sometimes, we still going to stand on the promises and trust you, God. It is the thing that you have assigned us for that gives us purpose, that gives us hope, that gives us a future. And I pray, God, that for those who don't know their purpose, that they will find it this year. For those who do know their purpose, they'll step into it this year. And for those who are already in that purpose, they'll continue to carry it out this year in the name of Jesus. This will be a year where our souls will prosper and we will be in good health. Father God, because you've called us to such as that. Lord, we trust you. We magnify you. We bless you. We thank you for covering and keeping us. We thank you for shielding us. And we thank you for putting that hedge around us, our children, our families, our houses, whether they're in, in our presence or whether they're in far parts of the world. The hedge has no limit. Your, your arm can reach as far as we can believe, God. And we believe you for the farest parts of the world. Carry our children. Carry our future. Carry our loved ones. Because you first loved us. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus name. Amen.